Hey, beautiful souls. Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined, by the way. Welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, happy day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah, I had a whole 41 minute video, but there was like major distractions in that particular message and I've just decided to just do it over. You know, there's no accidents. So I want to give you a brief summary of what, you know, came out in that reading. First of all, you have someone that feels like something is not over between you two. This person could be like a soulmate or a twin flame. This person feels like there has been many words left unsaid between you two. Okay, many deeds left undone between you two. Many words left unsaid between you two. Many feelings have not been expressed between you two. Okay, this person has gotten some sort of confirmation where they have some sort of knowledge that you are the real deal, legit, true love. Okay, they know they have been confirmed or they got some sort of confirmation about the fact that you are it. Okay, yes, this person. I'm hearing one or two months, one or three months. This individual um, may be contacting you or coming to see you or, you know, standing right before you, okay? There is some indication of this person getting ready to come in or communicate, okay? This person wants to talk to you, okay? Remember, take the reading how it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. You will know if it fits because it's going to feel like, okay, she's talking about me. She's talking about me. So you gotta know if it fits. If it doesn't, just that's just fine too. Take what you can. Just take what you can from the message and leave the rest. Okay. This person is in a very recept they're in a very receptive feminine energy today. Okay. Very res very res I'm here in a very respectful, receptive feminine energy when it comes to you. This person is also in the energies. Excuse me, Michael. He's in the background. This person is also in the energies of healing, okay? They have went through, they've been through um, a pretty nasty breakup and or divorce, or they're in the process of a bitter divorce or just a relationship that is just not going so well. They are in their feelings about that shit today, okay? He and his feelings, she and, his, she and her feelings about that shit today, okay? Remember, whoever you are, whoever you are inquiring about in this particular message is who I'm speaking, speaking about, okay? The ancestor said he need to speak up, okay? This person needs to speak up, okay? Yes, they know it. They know it. They have gotten a confirmation that you are it. That's Michael in the background, by the way, guys. So, yes, this person, you know, at, the, at these particular levels, this person can't play dumb. They can't play ignorant. They can't play like they don't know because they do know. It's just... You know how they say that the evidence has been overwhelming in the case and it's like a slam dunk case for the prosecution. <laughs> well, this is like a slam dunk case for you and this person. They know it, okay? This person may have tried to, hey, Michael, hey, babe, this person, he's in the background. They may have tried to date people that were like a... A generic version of you, okay? <laughs> you know, everybody can't afford luxury items, okay? Or expensive things. And some people don't even know what that stuff... They're so used to shopping on the clearance... Michael. They're so used to shopping on the clearance rack that they wouldn't know a luxury thing if they saw it, okay? Yes, so just go ahead and take what this... Take what comes out, you know, how it resonates, but this person definitely needs to speak up. And I feel like within the next one to two months, possibly one to three months, this person will be reaching out. Okay. Always pray about your particular situation, honey. Okay. Because it may be longer. It may be less. Okay. Just let it play out and pray about it. Okay. But they do want to reach out. There are some things that this person wants to say to you. And they are in a very receptive feminine energy today. Okay, very receptive, very feminine. No pressure, no aggression. Can I just speak to you? Can we just talk for a minute? Can I just speak to you outside privately for a minute? Okay, can you take a ride with me? 
Can we go out right here right quick for a few minutes? I just want to speak to you about some things. Okay. Yeah, this person has seen you evolve. This person has seen you come up. This person has seen you go through a, ma a major transformation. Okay. Since you guys haven't been in communication. Okay. Yeah. Since you guys haven't been in communication, this person has seen you go through some massive changes on the spiritual realm. Yeah. And also as part of you guys' destiny to be left some sort of inheritance from this person. Take it how it resonates. There were times when this person was supposed to reach down and help you up, but they did not. Okay. There has been many days where they were supposed to financially assist you, but they did not. I feel like part of this person's um, mission will be to either leave you something, okay, inheritance, financial resources, or to become wealthy with you, okay, that's part of it, that's part of it, okay, yes, that's, that's hand in hand, now, there's also someone in the background that is just, she's like your number one fan too, okay, I feel like this is a male I'm speaking about, and they have a female that they have a connection with, or had a connection to, this person has been keeping an even bigger eye on you, she's like your number one fucking fan, she may be trying to come in and start some shit, text you, call you, you know what I'm saying, just to stir the waters up and try to put some salt in the game to make you think negative about your person, okay, she just may want to see you, you know how celebrities have they, they fans, okay, she your number one fan, okay, she probably done fell in love with you, at first she hated you, and I'm pretty sure it's like a love-hate relationship that this person has with you, because you have completely, you know, in her mind, <laughs> Destroyed everything she worked so hard to build, okay? She thought she had this person on lock. Okay, never think that. You never think that. Especially when you know you ain't doing right by a person. Or you know this person is not really showing you that they're all the way 100% invested. Even if they're married, okay? Even if he was married to her, living with her, there was a certain level to your person that was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she all right, okay? It's not like this person was a thousand percent emotionally invested here. Now, at some point, they may have been, okay? She wants to know why you destroyed her happy home. You can't destroy something that ain't, okay? If it's happy and solid, you can't destroy it, okay? Because it's built on a firm foundation. Remember that. If their foundation was strong and sturdy, you know what I'm saying? No one can, um, you know, God says the wind will come, the storm will rage, but the house will not be broken because it's set upon a firm foundation, okay? When a, firm, when, the, when a house is built on a rocky foundation, it's sure to fall, okay? And a house divided amongst itself is sure to fall. Michael, do you mind coming in the house and closing the door, please? At some point, the, the house became divided amongst itself here with your person and whoever they are connected to or were connected to. Michael! Please get in the house, son, okay? The universe had to bring you in when you when you came in, honey. There's no accidents, there's no mistakes about it. You guys are a part of a bigger plan here, okay? You need this person just as well as they need you, okay? Yeah, so they are going through some, okay, this, the person that your person was connected to or still connected to, they may have your person blocked today and your person is mad as hell, like mad, like, I know this bitch did not just fucking block me, bro. I just paid her rent. I just bought her new purse. I bought her new purse. I took her shopping. I paid her car. I know this bitch blocked me. I'm sick of her ass, okay? So he could be in his feelings about, you know, something that they've been going through. Yeah, okay? And the person that they're connected to is in their feelings. It's just like, it's well advisable for you to stay out of the damn way while they, you know, work on that shit. However they're going to work on it, okay? That ain't got nothing to do with you. Uh -huh. until he's legally divorced like when you see the divorce papers you know at that point you may decide to become involved but before then don't do it don't get in the midst of it especially if it's like a nasty divorce or breakup excuse me Michael Michael yes so overall energies today we got the nine of swords and we got the high priestess like they're mad your person is mad like, you know how you know better, but you don't do better. Like, this person knew better, but they didn't do better. And they feel the wrath of that shit. Like, you know, they beating themselves up for their for they own damn mistakes. Like, you knew better than to get involved with her. You knew better, but you went against your better judgment anyway. And now you're paying the price, or you, you're reaping, okay, you're feeling the effects of doing some stuff that you knew was wrong, okay? The ancestors got this person. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. 
This person offered, excuse me, babe. This person offered their cup. Michael don't went to the car, y'all. He got a whole bag of pistachios out of my car. Like, that's Michael. This person offered their whole cup. Okay, they took their whole cup of love to some damn body else. Knowing damn well they were supposed to bring it to you. At some point, this person knew what they were supposed to do, but they went against their better judgment and they got bit in the ass. Okay, God don't like ugly. He sure ain't fun or pretty, okay? He don't play that. You, did you really think he was going to build a whole foundation with someone who was not going to be, like, who's not your empress? Did you really think that was going to stand? Remember, a house built on shaky foundation will not stand. The house that this man is supposed to, to build with you, or a woman, okay, the house that they're supposed to build with you and have with you is firm, okay, sturdy. The foundation is solid because you're solid, okay? Yes, it's not going to fall. The winds will come. The storms may come. But you're solid, okay? Yes. This, per this person did everything but the right thing, okay? They did everything but the right thing. You know some. You know how some people say, you know how some people say, damn, she wouldn't know a good thing if it was right there in front of her face? He wouldn't know a good thing if it was right there in front of his face? He ain't used to good things. So he took his cup somewhere else. He took his offer somewhere else. Something that, you know, something that made him happy. Excuse me, guys. Michael, do you mind cutting that down? At some point, this situation made him happy. That's where he wanted to be. Okay, that's what he thought was for the best. That's what he settled for. <laughs> okay, but it became something. It became something that became a burden. The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Cups. It's like he working like a Hebrew slave to make something happen or make something work that's just not going to work, that's not meant to work, that never will work, okay? He put the work in to try to make it work. He messed with a Queen of Wands. Ooh-wee. He got him a Queen of Wands, guys. Very, yeah, she beautiful, okay? She's beautiful. He's handsome. Very beautiful individual on the outside. But this person like a rotten apple on the inside, okay? This is what he went towards. This is what this person thought was better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person, this Queen of Wands may be into the darker arts. <gasps> the darker arts. Okay, she may have put that 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 voodoo witch coochie on him or you know, he put that voodoo witch dick on her or something like that and hypnotized him and okay, I'm hearing this this person had like okay, this person that your person went to be with or built a life with or wanted to build a life with, they had like a Jezebel spirit on them, okay? Very seduct. Okay, I'm hearing a seductress or a seductor or a seducer. Very good in bed. Okay, very seductive and alluring. He may have had a child with her. Yeah, he may have had a child with her, or he wanted to have a child, or she tried to convince him to have a child. He may have even went against his better judgment in this situation. It, it, it just feels like he he went he went towards an unfamiliar voice. Never, never, never listen to unfamiliar voices and never go towards a voice that you don't recognize. Don't, don't even do it. Okay. He went, he went, he went towards a voice that was not, you know, familiar. I feel like this man could have been married and he divorced and then he divorced and went to this situation or he went back to a situation. Okay. Take the reading how it resonates. Dang. He feels a grave mistake was made here. He made a terrible mistake. Okay. We've all done that. We got the Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. The, the Page of Swords and the Four of um, Swords. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Heavy energy, heavy air energy here. Damn. Mm. It looks like he could be um, definitely feeling the effects of not being with this person he feels some type of way about the connection not working out between him and this particular person today okay dang he could be keeping an eye on her still okay still watching still mad because she got him blocked okay he can't see his kids or you know how that go so we're gonna go ahead and continue on okay with this particular message this could have been more than one lover he was dealing with okay Mm -hmm. He tried to he tried to build a foundation on the he tried to build a firm foundation on 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 a foundation that was not solid. OK, if that makes sense. He tried to build a foundation 
on rocky grounds or unstable grounds. The person that he was connected to is definitely giving me someone that has uh, bipolar, mental illness, okay? Very moody, very, very controlling, okay? She controls the sex, she controls this, she controls that. It's like emotional ma manipulation. This is what I'm seeing. He all in his feelings. The King of Cups, that's somebody all in his feelings. Okay, mm-hmm. The Empress, he dropped the ball with you. This person made you feel like you wasn't a priority, okay? And my other reading that I did not upload, I spoke about this person making everything and anything a priority over you, okay? You was not a priority, or you was not high enough on his priority list, okay? You know they say a man takes care of those that he loves. If a man gives a fuck about you, he's going to reach out to you. He's going to see if you're okay, if you need anything. He just didn't, you know, he wasn't a priority. And you felt the, you felt that, you felt the effects of that. Okay, you felt the effects of that. Ugh. He went towards a Jezebel spirit type of individual that's very controlling, very alluring. He refused to see. You know how they say love is blind? But a man that's hooked on the pussy is even blinder. Okay, he, he was blinded by that. We got the strength card. Excuse me, Michael. We got the strength card. There's a very strong offer that this person has for you. It's coming in. And it's a very strong indication of interference from this particular person that he's divorcing or breaking up with or not having a good good relationship with. This person wants to interfere. This person looks like she's going to interfere or try to interfere in the connection. We got the four ones. It's like it's like she casts all kind of spells and illusions against this person, okay? Like certain spirits like she conjure up to get this person to do what she wants them to do. Okay, this is what I'm saying like come home daddy or come home you know come home or go do this or go do that like she speaks to him or she conjured up something to make him do things okay i see that energy here she does all this to get her way okay we got the six of the six of coins that's capricorn virgo taurus i, I guess michael is finished um <laughs> ramaging through the vehicle my car okay he also feels some type of way too. It's like, damn, the universe has upgraded you since you guys have um, separated or been in separation. Because remember, you guys are always connected. Separation is only an only an illusion, okay? Only an illusion. Separation is only an illusion. So this is your man, baby, okay? It's like this is your person. This is your man, okay? You guys are you are together, but you are not physically together. If that makes any kind of sense. And he's seen the upgrades and he's seen how the universe has bestowed you or he's seen how you glowed up or he's seen the glow up happen for you okay he's seen the transformation take place you may have become more financially stable your looks just changed or you got more beautiful or he's just noticing your beauty like you may have been someone that was not as tight okay and now he's noticing you like oh that's her oh wow i didn't know she was so beautiful oh my goodness Okay, you may have been something that was completely opposite of what he likes or what he would normally go for. Okay, you threw like that monkey wrench in his plants. Okay, so it was kind of like, wow, where does she come from? It's like, you know how sometimes you hear people say, oh, he noticed me for the first time, but we've been together for years. It's like, it's like the light bulb finally went off in this person's fucking head when it came to you. Okay, yeah, the universe is the universe got you like god has shown not just this person but god has shown other people too that he is the god of your life and he takes care of you okay that's why i said there's a certain inheritance or wealth or prosperity that this person is supposed to leave for you or will leave for you or you're supposed to build together okay there's you guys and wealth is connected together no doubts we got the ten of swords mm -hmm. he's sitting there crying looking at his phone because she got him blocked okay or they blocked or you got them blocked but i feel like this is related to the connection that is not going well between him and someone else okay like he's sitting there looking at that phone like i can't believe she got me blocked he could be making fake accounts to watch someone today or he's watching someone else today through a fake account okay point blank period honey the energies don't lie he's in the process of needing to be healed from this thing it's, it's really taking a toll on him especially if there was heavy spell work and uh, magic done and I feel like there was a lot of heavy spell work and magic done to your person 
point blank period. At some point, this is something he thought would be beneficial or good for him. Okay, he made this person to be his life partner. He may have married her. She may have married him. She may have proposed marriage. He may have proposed marriage here. This was it for him. Okay, this was it. This was it. It was unfathomable for him to um, picture his life with anyone else. But there you go. Okay. I'm hearing that song by Pink. Please don't come around talking about you love me because that love shit just ain't for me. I don't want to hear that you adore me. Okay. It's like by the time he get it together, you're going to be like, my new man out back. Okay. And, and, and I was so what? So what you think about that? And when I say I'm through, I'm through. And basically I'm through with you. Okay. By the time he do try to make an effort to be with you, this is what you're going to be saying. You know? You know how some people be like, they don't love like, they don't love you until it's too late, okay? Because I'm picking up on that song. Please don't come around talking about that you love me. Because that love shit just ain't for me. I don't want to hear that you adore me. Okay? Right. There was many days you needed this person. You needed your person. Okay? You needed him. That's why you ten toes down. You ten toes down. You, you're, a true, you're a true empress. Like God made you an empress. Okay? What did Patrick Swayze say in that movie? No one puts baby in a corner. Okay? No one puts the empress in a corner. This person put you in a corner like you was just a regular person or a regular. Like, some people don't know good stuff when they have it. Okay? He couldn't see you. Okay? You may have been... You know, economically poor than him. You may have been in a lower financial bracket than him. You may have lived in a rough neighborhood. You may have come from a poor background, okay? He may have come from a rich family or an esteemed family or a wealthy family or a celebrity background. It's like you were like a you were like a peasant in his eyes, like oh you was like beneath him. You know what I'm saying? Like, ew, I wouldn't date her. I can't get serious with her. But God had it planned like that, okay? God had it planned like that. You were for him, you are him. You are him. He's you. Okay? But he couldn't even see himself in you. And that shows how low he was. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you look in a mirror and you can't see yourself. Like, all you see is the pain and all you see is everything else but yourself. Okay? He couldn't see you. But you were him. Make it make sense. Okay? Yeah. You may have been overweight. Okay? Your weight could have been a factor. Your, your race could have been a factor. Okay, where you live at, what you drive, where you work, your education, all that shit could have been a factor here and why he chose to go in another direction. It could, have, it could have been about image. Okay, what would be a better image for the family, okay, for my reputation, for my ego, okay, what would look better, okay, who gonna look better when, when who gonna look better riding with me, okay, who gonna look better stepping out with me, you know what I'm saying, all that shit was like what he was judging this thing on. But who got a better heart than you? Who got a better heart than the Empress? Okay, who got who got a better spirit than you? Who got a better connection to God? Who got a better connection to angels? Like, who can love this person like you? I mean, no, it's nobody on earth that can, because God made you for Him. Okay, He was running from Himself. He couldn't see you because He couldn't see Himself. So there was a part of Him that was not even aware of Himself because He wasn't aware of you. Okay. You, you wasn't aware he wasn't even aware of himself I'm hearing he was just caught up in that life okay and that's fine okay that is fine but remember <laughs> yeah so what so what what you think about that when I say I'm through I'm through basically I'm through with you okay by the time you recognize me okay it's it's too late I don't want to hear that you adore me you know what I'm saying I was there the whole time I was in your face the whole time Mm, so you see the universe bless me now, okay? Oh, you see me come up now. Oh, okay. Oh, you see me living in a nice house now and driving a nice car and making a lot of money now. Oh, okay. Oh, you see how pretty I am now. Oh, okay. You see the people that love me now. Oh. Mm? <laughs> yeah, some, some empresses think, you know, you know, some empresses think that they're better off without this person. And you know what? You may be right. You may be right. He's got to show you, honey. It's just, he, he has to show you. He has to show you. Wow. The six of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. 
the universe ain't playing with you. Let's see, the universe ain't playing with you. I feel like you have a good, you got a good heart and you give back. You give back. I'm seeing a doctor, a lawyer, an attorney. Okay. This could be somebody you end up marrying. Okay. Or someone that's financially stable or somebody that's in a um, influential position, possibly a boss or someone that's a high official. Okay. You're an empress. Okay. You're an empress. Don't be surprised when these type of people notice you, honey. You're an empress. That's the kind of energy you exude. Yes, but look at him. Look at him, all mad now. We want to fight over you, being immature and childish. But I don't want to hear that you adore me, okay? Mm. Now you want to talk? Okay. Yes, yeah, like that. So what? What you think about that? Okay, so when I say I'm through, I'm through. Basically, I'm through with you. There's an empress that are just like, they're gonna be like with their new boss man, like they, they millionaire husband, like they boyfriend, they gonna be like just smiling, laughing at this person, okay? They, the empress may roll down her window like, who is this peasant? Who is this peasant? Who is this peasant? And I'm hearing, oh, I, I, I hear your husband, baby. Like, he's, he's just like, um, who is this guy? Okay, who is this? I could have I could have him removed. Okay, so you may marry someone or you may date someone that has some clout, that has some power. We got the four of wands, that's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah. Okay, he went towards a Jezebel spirit, or he went towards an unfamiliar voice. Or he had or at some point he started listening to unfamiliar voices. That was all by design. Okay, it was to keep him confused. You know, you got people in the background of your life, Empress, that are trying to keep you confused with their noise. Okay? It's just noise. You both have heavy opposition coming up against you. The difference is he married his enemy, or he married his opponent, or he dated or lived with or got serious with someone that turned out to be not good for him. You did not do that because you have spiritual discernment. Of course, you were at one point unawoken, but at the levels that you're at now... You don't go for certain things like that, okay? Because you listen to your spiritual team, you have spiritual guidance, and they're gonna not, they're, they're, you're gonna be strongly warned against messing with certain people, Empress. What? No, the ancestor's gonna say no, don't do it, no, mm -mm. The five of swords, <laughs> the four of wands, okay? Damn, it's never good enough for her. He probably worked his ass off to try to make her happy, but it was never good enough or it wasn't enough. It was never going to be enough, okay? That's what he went He went towards, something greedy, okay? It's never enough, it's never enough, it's never enough. Meanwhile, he's suffering, okay? You know they say men, some men suffer silently, okay, silently. This guy has suffered silently because of a failed connection. And it's like, you don't got nobody to blame but yourself, Okay? We human, we all go through these things, but you have to take accountability. <laughs> like, you got to take accountability. God is looking at you. You got to take accountability. Until you take accountability for your action, actions and what you do, God is not going to elevate you. Okay, so you haven't learned yet. You haven't learned. You still blaming her for the demise of the breakup. What did you do? Okay. God wants us to be accountable for our own actions. You blaming him for being a shitty person. What did you do? So when they learn to take accountability for their actions, then they can level up. You go to another level. Yes, Lord. I wasn't the best companion I could have been in that situation. Okay. I could have given more. I could have did more. I should have listened more. Okay, God can work with you now because he see that you sincerely know that you messed up or you played a part in the demise of something. But when you just blame everybody else for the, everything else and you don't take accountability or responsibility, you're not ready for certain levels. You don't become an empress or an emperor like that, okay? Empresses, they take responsibility. They take accountability, okay? And they don't mind, you know, hey, I'm sorry I messed up here. I didn't mean to offend you. Empresses have like the most tender hearts. You know what I'm saying? They they they'll 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 help anybody out. Okay, they have much they have they have much to give. Okay, I'm hearing they got much love to give, and they have the tenderest hearts. Yeah, and they take accountability. That's a part of being a freaking adult. Okay, I messed this thing up here. How can you help me, Lord? Or I need help because I don't want to mess up my next connection. Let me work on me. 
the queen of swords this person ruled your damn person like she ruled him or he ruled her or there were moments where this person okay your person may have married someone that had mental illness okay or they 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 was they just acted like that they okay i'm here and switch out switch out if it wasn't if the check wasn't big enough or he didn't deliver the way she wanted it she could be cold and mean okay now remember it could be a he both of these people may have just been vengeful and spiteful towards each other the king of the king of swords confirms that this is a breakup or a divorce or just a badass relationship they may have let their friendships and other outside influences ruin the connection they got to take accountability for that i let my friends you know put words in my ear about my man or my woman that that was wrong or i spent so much time i spent so much time with my friends that i neglected my relationship they got to own up to what they did god is not going to bring this person in your life in the peasant state or or like a knight or a page he's not even going to bring him back in the king state he has to be an emperor okay because you're an empress mm, you are an empress yeah this person okay we got the six of cups and the queen of coins this person wants to give you something and you know you you go to any tarot reader and, and when you're talking about this person it's the same it's the same thing this this person wants to give you something it's also very evident from their observation of you that the universe has upgraded you or you're in the process of elevating okay mm -hmm. they elevating you when i say they i'm speaking about the archangels <laughs> the guardian angels my heavenly father your heavenly father the lord jesus christ they have, they have, they have shone. Okay, I'm hearing shine the light on you. Okay, there's a mission that you have here. Okay, people in your way, they need to get out of the damn way. Okay, because they ain't gonna stop you. Okay, it's like every day, like God does, like a secret thing while you're sleeping. Okay, to make you more beautiful, more, more prettier. Okay, like God is working on you. Okay, we got the knights. Oh, the knight of wands. Looks like he's ended out a sexual based connection with someone. He wants to bring it home to you. I spoke about it yesterday. He wanna he wanna give you the dick. Okay. He, he want he wanna do that. But he gotta give you more than a dick. He gotta give you commitment. He gotta give you truthfulness, loyalty, okay, all that secretive shit. No. A part of him is mad at himself because he took forever. Okay, it's kinda like he wanted to put you on a shelf and put you in a corner while he go pursue other options. I spoke about it, okay? Remember Patrick Swayze said in the movie, no one puts baby in the corner. No one puts Empress in the corner. This person put you in the corner. They put you on the shelf. They just put you in the background. I got this offer for her. But I'm going to just take a year, take a year, two years, five years, ten years before I give it to her. Meanwhile, let me go over here with her because she got a fat ass. She got a better body. She got a, she's a doctor. She's a lawyer. Okay. She's an attorney general. And she's a congresswoman. Okay. She's in a big authoritative position. Oh, she she live in Washington. Okay, she she may be she may be the queen. Okay, it looked it better <laughs> to him. Yeah, it looked it better. Okay, but he was trusting unfamiliar voices, or you know, God tells us not to listen to that. Don't don't follow the voice of a stranger or unfamiliar spirit. Okay, that can lead you down the road of destruction. We got judgment. Okay, we got judgment. God has made a decision to change some stuff up stuff up in your life, okay? I'm hearing he needs to step up. And there's also people that just, they don't know what's coming for them. It's, it's sad to say, you know? It's just sad to say. But the universe definitely um, got this person blocked on some level from you, okay? It's for your protection. This man may, this man, um, may have, yeah, he may be 60 years old. Oh no, don't tell me you're 60 years old and you still out here acting like this. 60 years old? Some people are going to die in their folly. They're going to just die and they have to come back and do this shit all over again because you ain't learned the damn lessons God wanted you to learn while you was here. Like, dang, you ain't learned nothing in 60 years. If you're still acting the same way at 60 that you did when you was 30, you, you wasted 30 years. Didn't Martin Luther King Jr. teach us that? Some people never grow up. It's just facts. Just because you get older doesn't mean you become wiser. You see my gray hair? That just, I was born with gray hair, but I've become more mature and wiser over the years. And I'm sure you have as well. Okay. Yeah, he's blocked on some level. It's for your protection because on some level, he's still caught up in a situation in the background that could be harmful or beneficial 
to you, okay? I'm hearing a vengeful, vengeful ass motherfucker on his ass that may want to try to do something to you. And now the angels and the ancestors got to get her, because if she come, if she come for you, then it's gonna be some. I'm hearing devastating, deadly consequences. Mm. He could still be in the energies of being undecided about whether or not he want to end out a connection. That's bad. Like, if you're still in the energies of trying to decide whether or not you want to end out something that's toxic, then you need to stay there, okay? Because you ain't ready. If you seriously got to think about whether or not you want to end out something that is hurtful, damaging, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. You know how, um, what's the name of that song? Where he says, I want to take the step out the door, but I just don't know what's there. Okay, what's on the other side, okay? And this person is worried about what's on the other side. It's not on... It, Michael, thank you. Can you cut that down? It's not about what's on the other side of that door when he walk out. It's about what's inside of him. Because he can get all that stuff back. Okay? We got Justice, Three of Swords, and the Fool. Some of these guys have decided to walk away from these toxic, toxic ass people and or connections. Point blank, period. We got justice and a six of wands. This person, your person, could be facing a legal situation. A divorce, a breakup, DUIs, child support, uh, biological DNA confirmation, okay? Devastated by the fact that they're putting all their work and effort into raising a family that, you know, it's just fact. It's just facts when people build foundations that are not solid and sturdy okay they're trying to build on foundations or not that are not solid and or sturdy he may have lived or moved in with someone okay wow mm. there's gonna be a legal there's gonna be a legal there's gonna be something legally that's gonna be favorable for him okay that's good or well, the universe is saying there's gonna be some happy outcomes for this person okay but there's just lessons that he has to learn like we all do we got the six of swords and the ten of coins, okay? It's hard when you have to rebuild. That's why some people choose to say stay single, man. It's just easier. I ain't got time. You got your problems. I got my problems. And then I give you my problems. And I give you my burdens. And you make me have more problems and more burdens. That's why some people stay single. First of all, do not yoke yourself up to someone that's a peasant or low vibration. Don't link up with these people. That's just a disaster. And don't just rush and jump into bed with people. Hey, ask God to show you, okay? Like, hey, Lord, what's up with this person? I like them. I like him. He got a good vibe, but I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision here, and I don't want to get hurt, okay? This person coming right to your damn door. Damn, I'm like a little puppy outside. You know how some puppies, you feed it, and they come back and come back, okay? You done fed him something, okay? He want to come back, but he can't come back like a little puppy. He got to come back a, a, a real full-grown adult a mature a big dog okay he got to come back right it's like you know how in the movies the guys throw the rocks at the windows okay like he's not gonna go away once he comes in he's not going away okay he's not gonna go away once he comes in he's gonna be like that little that little damn dog knocking on your door every day <laughs> okay once he come in he's gonna be all the way in there he go big dog you see he gotta he gotta he gotta be a big dog he gotta step up now he's in the emperor status okay you know, the emperor is not always holier than thou. Sometimes the emperor is just a dad, okay? Or a father figure. Someone that um, is a father, okay? Mm-hmm. Damn, it looks like, okay, someone on the council has decided to make a decision favorable for this person. Excuse me, Michael. Someone on the council, the ancestors, have decided to make a favorable outcome or decision for this person. It's almost like... It's almost like they're helping this person get out get out of a bad situation. Point blank period. But he gotta get out of his head. It's gonna be okay, masculine. It's going to be okay. You'll get through this. Okay? You know how God said, I got you through that last thing? Don't you know I'll get you through this one? Just have faith. Okay, we got the ten of swords. Heartbreaking pain is real. This person thinks a lot and they think a lot and they think a lot. They think too damn much. Okay? Sometimes you could be overthinking. Your brain is the most powerful organ you have, okay? Period. The five of wands. It's like, okay, let me close this out. Bless you. This person wants to bring this offer to you, but he don't want to bring the drama that's involved or surrounding him with him. And he know better than to do that, okay? You don't bring that shit around the empress because God going to smack you. 
Okay? Yeah. You don't lead the enemy to the door of your empress. That's a big no-no. We got the two of cups. He has an offer that he wants to bring to you and that he will be bringing to you or that they will be bringing to you. But there's some drama surrounding this person and currently. He's worried about that drama. Okay? Secretly, he's worried about the life that he's going to have with you. Okay, is this person going to continue to interfere with my life now that I've decided to move on or marry someone else or be with someone else? Will this person continue to start, start shit for me? Okay, the moon, the magician, the will of fortune, somebody has been trying to tamper with you guys' destiny. Somebody has been trying to tamper with this person's fucking destiny. Point blank, period. We got the nine of coins. They don't want this person to be single. Okay, because it's more beneficial for this person to be married, you know. The perks of being with this person are good financially, okay? Because they work hard, they take care of their family, they're responsible, you know what I'm saying? They may fuck off, but when it comes to handling the business and taking care of themselves and the family, they do that. That's why it's more beneficial for this person to remain with your person, okay? But it looks like, you know, I'm hearing that song, I feel like busting loose, okay? He may have already left her ass, but he's in the energies of healing. He's still, he's still you know, that shit take time. It just take time. It's a process. Expect communication. Period. Expect communication. He may he may he may call you, text you, hey, I need some help with this. Or he may he may use you to help him build build you guys' future. Okay. Yeah, he's had some options. He's went to at least five to seven other damn people since he separated from you. He done went to everybody but you. He gotta bring it back to you. That's just facts. You see, there's a reader that calls the King of Wands King Dingling. Okay. King Dingling, slanging that dingling, everybody getting it. Okay, <laughs> you may have you you may you might empress you might be saying oh you could keep that dirty shit I don't want it that bitch don't been in every fucking hole you can have that shit y'all could have him okay please don't come around talking about that you love me cause that love shit just ain't for me okay I don't want to hear that you adore me how you love me but you fucking everybody else we got the four of coins <laughs> I'm saving the best for you so he's got some reserves. Okay, okay. Yeah, daddy still got some reserves for you, okay? He gonna put it on ya. I think you just gonna be the end of him. When I mean the end of him, once you once you fuck him, that's it. It's, it's just a wrap, okay? Yeah, it's, it's like gonna be like a little puppy, you know what I'm saying? So he gonna be all on you, smelling you and, you know, you know how men be like, I can smell you and all that kind of shit. Like, you just gonna have him gone. At that point, that's it. We got the eight of coins. <laughs> You got that healing pussy, okay? You don't talk about it. You know, you're empress. She's a classy lady. It's not like she goes around talking about what God blessed her with. Okay, she don't do that, okay? You know, and the people that have been with you know. Because I'm pretty sure you've had a stalker or two, empress. Look, <laughs> you got men that still want to fuck you, okay? 15, 20 years, they still trying to find you on Facebook. Okay, they still follow you. Like, you just in the store, they be like, oh, what's up? They say you be like... Nigga, who is you? Okay. That's how you know you got some good cat. Okay. It's been 15 years, sis. He's still checking for you. I'm here elementary. <laughs> we got the nine of wands and the star card. Like, this motherfucker knows he has to watch your back when you guys live together. Okay. You're going to have to have a tight security system. Like, I'm picking up on, what's her name? Betty Bob. Betty Broderick. You know, she murdered her her ex-husband Dan and his new wife and while they were sleeping she broke in their house and fucking shot their asses okay god rest their souls betty is a scorpio okay you know scorpios can be very vengeful and she's currently serving life in prison so i feel like this person knows on some level that he's dealing with someone that's extremely dangerous and he has to proceed with extreme caution okay point blank period we got temperance that's sagittarius <sighs> the ancestors got something for him. He has to leave a financial legacy or inheritance for his kids, possibly you. You come in, you you play a tie into this person's finances, okay? On some freaking level, he may be hurting financially because he's had to pay off, pay out in a divorce, or he had to pay something off. Okay, but he's gonna be okay financially. Yeah, it could it could just it could definitely be like a a wife or a baby mama. He could have multiple situations going on in the background. Okay, we got the page of swords. Dang, he's watching your house. 
He may drive past your house in the wee hours of the morning. Or he has somebody keeping a close eye on you. He knows where you're at. He knows where you live. He knows where you work. He knows what you do. They're watching you very, very closely. I say they because he got somebody helping him. Period. He's heard you cry. He's seen you cry. He knows he's hurt you. Damn. I see three people in his energy. Period. A wife, baby mama. Okay, they're, 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 they're there. He going broke trying to take care of all these damn children he done made. Okay, making all these promises to these women that he can't keep. Or, you know whatever a house built a house built on shaky foundation just won't stand okay he got some strong passion okay that's his damn problem he's lustful okay he always want to fuck 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 okay he may confuse fucking with love okay she fuck him real good she must love him okay this it's just the way he thinks that's how many men have got caught up getting that shit all confused we got the four of cups she could fuck the next nigga just as good yeah period the devil mm -hmm. he got somebody on his ass that is toxic and that could potentially become a problem for you guys in the future so he's concerned about that today they have some concerns about that today he knows his he knows it's his responsibility to make sure that you stay safe point blank period Okay, God is like, okay, that's mine right there. And I, you know how daddy is like, you know, when he walks his daughter down the aisle, you know what I'm saying? Now he's giving his daughter over to this man to get married, okay? That's like God, like, okay, God walking you down the aisle and God handing you this person. Now you're in control here, son, okay? Now now I'm watching you. How are you going to take care of my daughter, okay? So that's a heavy responsibility on this person, whether he knows it or not. Because God is watching him. And God will be watching over the union that you have with him. Okay? There's a big responsibility that this person has. He's the man. Okay? Remember, God made the man first. The man is the head. The male is the head. That's the order of the church. That's the order of how God says it. That's just that's just facts. Okay? The man is a provider and the man is a protector. He's to protect and provide. Okay? The woman is... You know, she works, you know, these are modern times, okay? Don't get it twisted and don't get in the comments with, with no crazy shit, okay? These are modern times and I am a woman and I know we have liberation these days, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying, a woman is to make sure her home is clean, okay? Her kids are okay, her man's good, okay? The food is on the table, that's part of being a woman, okay? That's just part of being a woman. That, that don't mean every woman does that, okay? Period. I, I believe in equality. He work, you work, we work. You cook, I cook, you cook. We clean, you clean, I clean, okay? Now, it ain't no, you sit on your ass while I do all the work. Okay, but whatever you believe, God is first, God is the head, then he made the man, then he made the woman. That's just facts, okay? This man, is the he's a provider, and he's supposed to protect you and your family. Point blank, period. And he has that responsibility. If you guys want to book me for a private reading, all that information will be in the description box below. God bless.